Alright, so let's take a look at another audio effects rack. In our performance and DJ, inside this folder, there are a bunch of really, really cool and interesting effects racks that apply to performance and enhancing your audio in all kinds of ways. So let's go ahead and get rid of the general multiban audio effects rack that we had earlier from our mastering folder. And now we're in our DJ folder we can go ahead and grab something like fade to gray let's go ahead and activate the clip we'll take fade to gray drop it in detail view go ahead and move macro knob number one so one knob seems to be doing a lot to affect this particular clip that we have playing let's go ahead and open up our chain view and let's go ahead and open up our actual device view. Now watch what happens as we activate macro knob number one. Keep an eye on the EQ3 and the ping pong delay. Watch what happens. You can see the frequency both high and low in the EQ3 on the mid-range section is being affected as we activate the knob as well as the ping pong delay's feedback and dry-wet ratio. So. Some really interesting ways to drop that effect in and out on the fly. We can also, of course, automate this and use our MIDI mapping controls to work with this as well. We'll be working with that in an upcoming tutorial, which is a really interesting and cool way to work with our macro knobs in our audio effects racks. Just like that. Great stuff in the audio effects folder and the audio effects racks.